Leo was playing around in the lair as he always did at times like this, but what was off was that he was supposed to be hanging out with your name today. They didn't come by or even called or text saying if they would be late or not coming at all. He was worried, so he did the only thing he knew what to do. Go and check on them. He jumped from roof to roof, and then he jumped right down next to your name's window. And luckily he didn't hit his face on it. He did that a few times. He knocked for a bit, but no one answered. Him being scared and over paranoid at that point, picked the lock and let himself in. Your name's room was dark and had no noise coming from it. Everything was clean and nice, but no your name, till he turned his head and saw a bit of hair popping out of the blankets that covered them. A hand laid on the top of their hair that stuck out of the blanket. Your name? You okay? I've been waiting for you to come to the lair to hang out all night, he said, but was met with soft snores instead of kind words he was so used to hearing from the person. He lifted the blanket up a bit, and he gasped a bit at seeing you. You were in your favorite colored pajamas and had sweat coming from your forehead as you snores and wheezed, groaning as you slept on. Oh, your name. He felt your forehead and noted that a pretty bad fever had taken hold of you. He didn't waste time in getting the things he needed for your recovery. A little while later, you woke up with a whimper as you opened your eyes. You tried to sit up but failed. You coughed and coughed till it hurt. He flinched as a hand rubbed your back. Whoa, easy your name. It's just me, he cooed softly. Your, your shocked face was all he could see. You tried to talk, but he stopped you. Don't talk. You have a pretty nasty cold there. Just stay calm, okay? He asked and he, as he petted your hair and massaged your head too. You should have told me, he frowned. I'm sorry. Your voice cracked and was frog-like. He kissed your forehead. No, it's fine. Just don't worry me again, he smiled. You nodded. Now get some beauty sleep. I'll be here to take care of you. He leaned down to kiss your head a few times and laid his head next to yours, curling softly as to ease your pain. You soon found yourself asleep in his arms as he came in bed with you. He kissed you again. I love you so much, he whispered to you as he joined you in sleep and dreamed with you.